I'm Scott with Spirit Tactical. Right now I'm going over some sword system stuff and uh, we're going to be shooting here in a second. It's a nice day. Uh, you need to have a Kestrel in the kit and also uh, some type of ruler or something else to measure uh, some of the measurements you'll need to input in here. So right now I had a new barrel put on uh, by Randy Glass of uh, Rocky Mountain Shooter Development or Shooter Development and uh, he also works out here as a sniper instructor. So he made it where it shoots tighter. My other barrel was not working as good as it should have anymore. So right now I'm going to go ahead and measure this new optic, which is about 2.75. So what I'm measuring is from the action. I'm trying to get to the center of action, so I just measure from right here. I can scoot that up a little bit. And then measure going into the center of my uh, back of the scope here in the optic. So it's about 2.75, so I need to change this on four okay, done <coughs> and also I got a new barrel length so I'm going to have new velocity I don't have a chronograph set up so I'm going to go through a true so I zeroed and now I'm going to shoot at a, a little small target out there at 500 yards I want to hit as many times as I can and then uh, confirm it and see what this is telling me to shoot and then what I'm actually shooting um, before I do that, make sure you put all your environmental factors in. The more stuff you can put into this computer system, the better it's going to help you out. After that, it's just a click and see what you got and then shoot it. Uh, the wind is, is always going to be a factor out here. we got hills and canyons and draws, uh, so the wind's constantly changing. So I usually don't put anything on windage on there. I just look and see what the wind's doing on the Mirage. Uh, lately, we've had rain, which is awkward. And uh, we're going to shoot in it. It's a nice day today. So we're staying in here just in case it starts raining so we can get anything and everything possible so it's true and get it to liken the computer system a lot, a lot more with this thing. All right, here we go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, put everything in there on the track. So first we're going to start with temperature, 74.8. Um, that's almost 75. It won't do no points, so 75. Uh, barometric pressure, let's do relative humidity is next. So 73.5, 73.7, let's do 74. You don't have to put the points and everything else. Barometric pressure, you can't. 30.62, so. done I go back into it make sure it saved everything already I go to altitude tell me 29 we're gonna put whatever it says on here just to see what it does temperature it still has the temperature in there from where we just put it in there all right done all right now we're gonna go to range card We'll go down to, we're going to shoot at 500 or whatever the computer tells me here in a second when I range it from this range. It says to hold a 2.28. Here in a second, I'll range it. It'll tell me what to actually hold. And then I'll hold it and then shoot uh, what I actually hit and then retrue it. And when we get to truing, I'll show you how to do truing. Alright, let me shoot two rounds at it real fast. And... Alrighty. Not clear. Where are you going next? Uh, Ken, the Freddy Cougar. On it. Send it when you're ready. Yeah. Uh, could not tell. Alrighty, got it. Alright, the circle one. Orange and white circle on target. Spot her up. Send it when you're ready. Roger. Right, that was a good hit, but I want you to do it again if it don't let yourself drift a little high. Okay. 3.95. There's a little circle right in the middle of the crosshair. It's real tiny. And I'm giving it about half a mil to the right for windage. Clear. Hit. We'll drop the gun for you when you get home. In the white on the left side. Roger. 
So my computer system is working good on me. I mean, it's dead on. Hey, this is Randy with Spirit and Tactical. What I want to do today is uh, demonstrate how to true out real quick uh, one of my 6.5 Grendels. This gun was put together by me. It's a it's a really good shooting gun, and it's kind of a gun that we just keep here to test stuff because it's got an old school loophole scope on it with a TMR reticle and old school you know clicking in minutes and stuff like that. But we're gonna use it to true out. Uh, same thing on the sword system and the A track. So the first thing I'm gonna do is. Measure all my inputs. In this case, that looks like two and three quarter inches. Um, so I'm going to go through the computer system again. I'm going to re-enter all the atmospherics. I'm going to re-enter all the things that I need to tell it about the gun, um, like we demonstrated before. And then we're going to go through and do, and do the truing system the exact same. And uh, hopefully we can get it on there within probably two rounds once we get it trued out. So stay tuned. I'm about to shoot. All right, basically what I just did is I turned the uh, track system over to minutes because, uh, like I said, this is an old school minute scope. Uh, so I converted it over to minutes, and basically what I did is I shot a target at, you know, 400 and whatever yards it is. And it's telling me that uh, I need to hold 7.1 minutes. So I'm going to, you know, rotate my dials to 7. I'll call wind on the spot and see what it does. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, I follow the computer's command and giving it, uh, about 7.1 minutes, so I, I shot 7 and I was still shooting under it. Uh, so I'm going to true it out right now. So right now I'm at 8.5 minutes, so I'm going to go down to options, truing drop, put in the actual range, which was uh, 413 yards, calculate, and then I'm going to put in my actual, which is 8.5, calculate, accept. And then it'll show me at 413 yards, 8.5. So that should be good. So I'll come up here to range card. And now I'm going to go down and I'm going to shoot something else. So next one I'm going to shoot uh, is, let's say, uh, 600. So it's actually going to be like a 613. So this is where I'm going to use the uh, sword system. I'm just going to hit it with the range finder, get the range I want. All right, uh, what I did was uh, I hit the uh, sword system here at a 620 target. And uh, told me 17.3. Put on 17. Uh, and a quarter, and I got a good first round hit on it, so I'm going to do it again at a different target. So all I'm going to do is get a good, solid, estimated distance. In this case, it's 667. And right down here at Randy 6.5, I'm going to be holding 19.5 minutes. Calling wind on the spot, so stand by. I'm Scott, Spirit Tactical. This is Randy with Spearhead Tactical, and we just got done doing some tests on the uh, uh, sword system from Horus. I'm running a Horus system. Uh, he's running just a uh, Leopold, and then um, we got another scope on another another rifle. Um, today we just tried out everything and seen how good we can do it with the truing process and everything else. Seemed like my rifle did pretty good. His rifle did really good on that one. One of the other guns with the 308 on it and, and a different optic on it didn't do as, as good but it still gets really close so the system's viable for training aspects of teaching guys to get out there a little bit quicker and learning both things but the hardest thing to do in any technology can't pick it up as good as that wind uh, we're both pretty decent shooters and that wind is just killing us uh, we got whipping winds out there just due to a uh, low pressure front being on the side of us and some storms coming in so we're trying to shoot as best as we could. Uh, Randy, you got some stuff on this? Yeah, I just want to mention that we came out here with zero dope whatsoever. Um, this this gun right here has got a completely different length barrel, completely different uh, barrel on it. Had no dope whatsoever. Uh, my 6.5 Grendel here, I'm not used to shooting with a loophole minute scope. Um, so I just figured I'd throw it on and let the A-Track system kind of come up with something and see how good we can get hits on it. And actually did really good with the Box Horner D123. So had no data on it whatsoever, atmospherics were just kind of thrown out there and uh, I think on this gun it got me with, within a quarter minute uh, at every range and every target which is well within kind of the shooter's uh, degree of error so I think the A-Track system did really good for both guns today. Um, if you haven't played with anything you don't have to have uh, this range finder you can just use a regular, uh, they have a Palm Pilot uh, one that with a chip that you can put in and you can use it it's the same program. This just helps out whenever you're trying out there to arrange things. Um, also, this I'm using a Falcon with the H59 in it, so it paired up pretty good. And when he's uh, at his power for for a second focal plane, using mill holdovers, it did really good then too. 
Uh, on the spot scope, we're using a Koa uh, optic uh, with that DSLR camera attached to the back of it. So you're going to see some hits later on. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything else, you're free to comment or give us any information that you have on anything. Uh, stay tuned. We'll do some other uh, tips and training and try getting as much other stuff that we can. Don't forget to check us out at uh, spirit-tactical.com. We're the nation's largest sniper and special weapons training area.